Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'll show you how I made these nails. And the first thing I did was obviously to prep the nails, and I'm gonna prime them with my Simply Super Bond primer. And this primer, you guys, is amazing. I really, really love it because I never have any liftings with this primer. It is the best. And then I have to apply a base coat because I always apply a base before doing anything. And I'm gonna use my Simply Clear Gel to do the base layer. So I'm gonna apply two thin layers of this gel just to make a nice base. You know, when she comes back for a fill, we don't have to remove everything. We only remove the design. Um, so her nails are still strong and healthy. And when that's cured, I'm gonna apply the glitter. And I'm not gonna do this on all of the nails as you saw in the beginning. I'm only doing this on two nails, I think. Um, so I'm applying a thin layer and then I'm patting the glitter on the sticky gel. So I haven't cured the gel layer before applying the glitter. Otherwise, it just won't stick to the gel. Um, so you really wanna press that glitter into the gel so when you cure this nail, the glitters will also like be cured inside the gel. I'm gonna encapsulate this entire nail with a pretty thin layer of gel, not too thin. Um, we still want to build up the thickness a little bit. And this is the first time that I've tried this method, but I'm gonna do half the nail with one bead one ball of gel and then I'm gonna cure this and do the other half of the nail and I've heard if you do it like this you can build the arch a lot easier and the shape of the nails will be a lot better so without doing like a hundred of layers of gel <laughs> so I did the tip first and now I'm doing the second layer the second ball um, where her nail bed would have been so the other half of the nail um, and when that's cured we have enough gel so we can cleanse the nails to remove the tacky layer and then file the shape oh I know you guys want to see a video of how I filed my nails you have requested that video for so long now and I honestly don't know how to record that kind of video so I'm just gonna show you right here how I do it it's really really simple you guys you just have to practice um, but yeah, I, all I do is I file the sidewalls first to get the shape that I want and then the length. And then I go around the cuticle area as you can see. And when the cuticle area is done, I just go up and down with the file to make the tip um, a little bit thinner. And so it kind of blends with the cuticle area, if you know what I mean. So it's really that simple. And then you're just going to file until you're happy with the shape. <laughs> And when you're happy, you just buff the nails, cleanse them, and then do your designs. So I'm going to use the Elite 99 Gel Polish in 011, I think this is. I will leave everything that I'm using in the description box down below, of course. So I'm just brushing the gel polish on, and normally I apply two layers. Sometimes I apply three layers, but... I think I will apply two layers right now because this color is perfect. I love it. This is my favorite gel polish from Elite 99. This color is everything.
So when the gel polish is all cured and done, I'm gonna apply the stripes. And you guys always ask me if I cleanse the nails before applying the stripes. And the answer is no, I do not. I don't know why I don't do it. I just don't feel like it's necessary. Um, so I just place the stripe where I want it to be and then I cut it with my nail cuticle nippers. Nippers? I don't know what they're called, but yeah, just cut the stripes. And then I apply my top coat, my Simply Super Shine. And this top coat is amazing. It's really thick and it doesn't move anywhere. You can really apply it on all of the nails and then cure them without the top coat running to the cuticle. So that is perfect. But I have a little issue with this top coat. And that is when you apply it on top of a gel polish, it makes this weird pattern on the surface and that's so annoying because I really want to use this top coat but it just, it just doesn't work with other products so but what I do is I apply it on the gel polish anyways because I don't care if it doesn't want to work I will still use it <laughs> so I apply it and then I as you can see, I carefully apply it all over the nail and I work the top coat until it is perfect. As you, I don't know if you can see, but if you look closely, you can see that it starts making some weird patterns. And then I ask her to cure, to put her hand in the lamp real quick before it starts doing that pattern, <laughs> you know. So I apply the top coat and then she has to quickly get into the lamp to cure the surface otherwise it will just not look good so that's what I do because I really like the top coat so I'm gonna do it this way so when that's cured I'm gonna cleanse the nails with my prep and clean this is you can just use any alcohol that you've got this is just super easy because this is really strong and it's really easy to clean and remove all of the um, stickiness you know and now for the rhinestones, I'm going to file the surface where I want the rhinestones to be just to, you know, make it easier for the rhinestones to stick to the surface. And then I'm going to use the regular nail glue. This is from Ended. It's just their tip glue, nail glue. It's really nice. Um, and I'm just going to place it where I want the rhinestones and then put the rhinestones on super easy I don't know how well this lasts uh, I should ask the girl if she still has her rhinestones on but I don't think this is the best way to apply rhinestones but it looks cute and yeah so I did it this way you could I think you could do it like encapsulate or put the rhinestones on top of gel or something but I don't want to do that so I just put it on nail glue because nail glue is so strong so I don't know I hope she still has the rhinestones on I normally don't really do rhinestones but I think it looks so cute I love these nails they're so nice and then last but not least, we're going to apply cuticle oil and you want to wait a little bit until the glue is dried before you apply the cuticle oil because you don't want to mess up anything. Um, so I'm just going to apply the cuticle oil and then massage it in carefully and then we're done. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below and if you have any requests, please leave them in the comments because I really want to know what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!